Right, the person who wanted me to review the Aeon Pro X also wanted me to review the Nexus Pro X, so I'm gonna. It is claiming 200 feet, so it is claiming more range than the Aeon Pro X. We will see how that turns out. It has two different barrels. It has both a scar barrel and a B car, so the threaded you know, rifled style, and then the one with the rollers. That is pretty nifty, as well as housing for both, which is cool. Storage on blaster. Um, comes with a faux sight, iPro, mag two magazines, darts, parts, bits, all that jazz. Um, it is also Adventure Force Tactical Strike, not technically a pro blaster, um, but I have a feeling it's gonna... It's gonna hold its own. Let's get this thing open and take a look. Right, well, what's all in the box? Well, the blaster, of course, your matching reticle, and it's actually not a bad sight picture, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, it comes with another rail amount attached uh, gizmo here. Two magazines, 12 round magazines, which is an odd choice for magazine capacity, perhaps, but Still very cool. Enough darts to fill both magazines. Another one of those weird O-rings. I'm very curious about the internals on these. And then, like I said, it comes with two different um, rifling systems. You've got the, the bearinged one and the regular threaded one. There is storage on the blaster for both. You have the storage on the side here, as well as the storage section up here. Oh, that one doesn't fit there, but this one can fit here. And, uh... This one can go in either. You can either put it up here and have that nifty double-barreled kind of look, or you can store it on the side if for some reason you don't like that. Um, it is also half-dart only. Again, I agree with that choice. It does have the same dual magazine where you can release it there or there. Magazines, again, proper talon mag geometry and catch. I like that. It does still have the doubled catch. I forgot to mention that on the Aeon Pro. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, there, maybe. Bravely, yeah. It does have both, so it will still take either style of the, either their older magazines or their newer magazines because it has both of the catches in there. Um, so that's pretty nice. The stock is adjustable, standard. Um, Buffer tube style. Again, easy access to your spring if you want to upgrade the spring. Very cool. Most of, obviously, all the stuff that we probably have already existing for the Nexus will probably work on there. The various threaded adjustable options. Uh, I don't know about the various stocks that already exist because the grip is shaped different. This stock isn't the best. It's not bad. It, it seems to lock this way well enough, but it doesn't lock that way. So it'll it kind of it'll pull off a little too easily, and I'm not a huge fan of that. The one thing I did see that is surprisingly nice is in addition to having a, a, a slot here for you to put a sling in. Be quiet, you. There does appear to be a brass thread there to be able to put a swivel sling mount on both sides, which is uncommonly cool. Um, but obviously, being a buffer tube stock, you can put whatever. Um, AR style stock you want to put on there, whichever one you prefer. Um, very, very cool. Um, the foregrip is more angled than the regular grip, and I, 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 something about that feels not quite right to me, but it is very comfortable. And uh, I like it. So uh, we're going to load up some mags. Well, actually, let's, let's compare it to the original one. <coughs> Like I said, that grip is much more angled, which a lot of people really like an angled grip. I actually do as well, as opposed to a fully vertical one. Um, again, this one was backwards compatible with full-length darts, which had down sides. Um, the, the rail is now full Picatinny, straight, flat. This one, it wasn't. There were adapters you could get to put in there so you could actually use like iron sights because otherwise they were weirdly offset. But the buffer tube system, oh, this one actually has a buffer cap of some kind. Not sure. Probably an out-of-darts one of some manner. Seems to be. Could be making it higher, could be making it lower. But actually, I can check real quick and see if this will actually work. If the 
to take one screw out. Doesn't seem to be fully cross compatible, unfortunately, but I imagine it will take people all of an hour, probably less. I already know people already have upgrade kits for this out there. Anyway, let's get you some fits. Right, we're gonna start. Again, three with each configuration. So three with no scar, three with the threaded scar, and then three with the B car, and see what we get. 200. 192. 199. With the scar. 197. 199. 188. A little bit lower on one of them. And then with the B car, 206, 202, 190. So it's all really close. It was even, I think the highest we got was with the B car, which I was told it does actually extend the barrel just a little bit and will uh, increase FPS just a hair. But uh, yeah, 200 FPS out of the box. And that's before we start monkeying with it. And we go monkey with it. It's what we do. All right. Like I said, I got to fire this at Maryland Mayhem and it felt obscenely accurate there at what I was shooting at. Let's go take it to my range and see how it do. I don't know if I mentioned this before, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but they do have skinny pushers. You don't have to prime them to put it in. Forgot to check the slam fire on the, on the previous one. Oh well. I won't forget it this time. Can we hit anything? We currently have the scar on there. Oh, where that went. There we go. Yup. Yup, alright. Let's go for some uh, targets. There we go. That's complete. Reload. It came with two mags, so I loaded them both. Still using the super fresh darts. Is delightful. Reload! At 200 FPS, this thing should be able to reach out. So let's try the 50. Oh, I think I overshot. There we go. 50. 75. Can I get the 100? I've got the power. Do I have the accuracy? I have no idea where those are going. Then hit the 75 again. I got it! With the last shot! <laughs> okay, I got a whole nother mag. Alright! It's got slam fire. Let's slam fire. Should go through rounds fast when you do that. But it's so much fun! But you sure can't aim for, for nothing. All right, we're talking. Yep, forgot to do the scar barrel test on this one too. Same time I remember to do the other one. I figured out this one and then re-edit it for that. Editing is magic. Anyway, I'm gonna start with nothing on there, on this one. Start with nothing, I'm gonna be aiming at 50. I'm not gonna be able to see a thing because I'm shooting dark darts on a dark background. Uh, and I'm not a marksman and this isn't a precision range. But we're gonna see if I can tell any big difference. So, I'm gonna take this off because it's probably just gonna get in my way. Be a little bit more stuck. Aiming for the 50. Well, I can hit the 50. I hit the 75. 
these rounds is it? One more. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's try the threaded scar. Okay, well, six out of six should tell you something. That, at that range, with this much power, it makes a noticeable difference. Let's try the B car. Hmm. I'd better luck with the regular scar. Probably just me. I would take all of those with a grain of sand because as I have said, I am many things, but a marksman is not one of them. I'm practically blind in my dominant eye. All right, now I'm gonna escape the mosquitoes and go talk about them. The blasters, not the mosquitoes. I could talk about mosquitoes. I used to live in Minnesota, I know all kinds of stuff about mosquitoes. I used to have a miniature mosquito trap. It was like a bear trap, but it was that big. I actually caught one of those giant mosquito hawks with ones once. Right, what are my thoughts of this now that I've actually plinked with it? Well, like the Aeon Pro X, this thing is head and shoulders above the Nexus in every category, other than I would have loved it if it was orange, but you know, you gotta, you gotta make changes here and there. Maybe I'll paint it. Anyway, um, love the ergonomics. Again, the quality is much, much better. It feels much more solid. There's much less wobble and creakiness. Um, the fact that it doesn't take full length mags means that we don't have the sloppy prime. Love that. Side rail, again, the other, uh, that has the side rail. I'm sure there's Picatinny rail under this grip so you can put whatever grip you want in there. This one, the scar barrels made a huge difference. It was very, very easily noticeable how much more accurate it was with the, the threaded scar barrel. This one didn't feel as much. It definitely was more accurate than with none, um, but I was also using, wasn't using the brand new crisp darts anymore, so who knows. Uh, stock isn't the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, if I was actually going to use this a lot, I would almost certainly replace the stock. Um, just, or figure a way to make it a little less, a little less wobblage back there. That's the only thing that's got any wobblage. Everything else is solid and very, very impressive. Again, not as solid as, say, a Harrier or a Seagull or, you know, the, the heavier buns, but again, this is 50 bucks off the shelf at Walmart instead of 150, 175, 100, whatever that you're, you're looking at for worker stuff. And this performs almost as well out of the box. It probably doesn't have the upper end mod potential that those ones have, but I could be wrong because I haven't tried modding it yet. Um, the fact that this is hitting 200 FPS and will hit a target 100 feet away off the shelf for 50 bucks at Walmart is nuts. Um, the, this is a, what a time to be in the hobby. Uh, there was a time when getting that kind of performance was expensive and took a lot of work. Now it's 50 bucks at Walmart. Um, and some people think that that's, you know, diluting the hobby and we're losing our soul and all that. And I think it has eliminated ba uh, barriers for people to get into the hobby. And I'm all for that. Um, if you really want to go old school stuff, you can hold old school only tournaments and, and do it however you want. But for anyone to be able to just pick this up and go, that, that just makes the hobby better in my opinion. So I think it is pretty cool. Love that the mags are straight Talon mags again. That is cool. They're nice looking. They're solid. They're good quality. I like it. I'm hoping they sell them in big packs. Um, just every, every upgrade that they've made, in my opinion, is an improvement from the previous one. Are there things that they could still improve? I have no doubt but none are really jumping out at me. This is solid. And again, for the price, it's, I, uh, it's I'm, I'm not sure I can think of anything that's better than this for that price. If you can, let me know. Anyway, I think I've gushed enough. Thank you for watching. Oh.